The annual Click It or Ticket police enforcement effort is underway through November 29th. So for this week's Legal Edge report, attorney Brian Waldman breaks down Michigan's seatbelt laws. So what should people know about Michigan's seatbelt laws? Siobhan, the first thing they ought to know is that in Michigan, the seatbelt law is what they call a primary law, which means that the police or law enforcement can pull you over solely because you're not wearing a seatbelt or following the seatbelt laws and ticket you just for that. So is it just as simple as buckle up, wear your seatbelt, and you won't get a ticket? In some ways, yes, it, it's really that simple. But what most people don't realize or many people don't realize is not only do you need to follow the seatbelt laws, but if you're the driver, you need to make sure everyone under the age of 16 is also following the seatbelt laws. And that has to, you know, includes using car seats and boosters and just simply, you know, following all the laws. So let's go into that. Uh, let's talk about like the seatbelts um, for the booster seats and when do all the special seats need to be used for the kids? So first of all, anyone 16 and over, when they're in the front seat, they obviously have to wear their seatbelts be buckled up. If they're in the back seat, they don't need to wear a seatbelt. Obviously, still a good idea to do so, but the law doesn't require it. For people that are ages 8 to 15, they have to wear their seatbelt, whether they're in the front seat or the back seat. And then kids under the age of 4 have to be in a car seat, and they have to be in the rear if there's a spot in the rear seat of the car available. If they're in the front seat and they have a backward-facing car seat, the airbag has to be turned off. And then that leaves the gap of, of kids who are ages four to seven. Those kids need to be in a booster seat until they reach the height of four feet, nine inches tall. Let's say, you know, you, you get a ticket, you're not wearing your seatbelt. Is it just that? Is it just a ticket or does this impact your driver's license at all with points? Well, it's interesting because I always look at the points that go along with tickets. For most people, the big deal is not the fine that comes with the ticket. It's the points that go on their driving record, particularly right. affect their license, their auto insurance rates. And so I kind of view that as where the legislature really passes judgment on how serious the violations are. And I think most people would be surprised to learn there are no points for seatbelt violations, even car seat violations for kids. Hmm. We'd also be, probably be surprised to learn that there's no points associated with texting. So I, I texting and driving. Yeah. So I think that's one of the areas where maybe the legislature needs to update the laws, maybe get in touch with what people really think are serious violations, because one would expect points to associate with a lot of these moving violations.